It was just prior to the 1994 Olympic Games and skating star Nancy Kerrigan was the victim of an attack directed by her immediate rival. Today she faces a new tragedy, the sudden loss of her father and as police investigate what role her brother Mark may have played in the death, his ex-wife has come forward with insights of her own, as John Berman now reports. 16 years ago, Nancy Kerrigan was in the center of one of the most stunning sports dramas of all time. In Detroit today, there's been a violent attack on an American athlete, Nancy Kerrigan, the American figure skater. Now she is surrounded by drama of a different kind, a family tragedy. Everyone, you know, feels for the family just very, um, very sad and, and hope, hope, that, hope the best for them to get through this. A funeral in Stoneham, Massachusetts for Daniel Kerrigan. Danny, as everyone knew him. A welder, a husband, a father to three children. One a figure skating icon and another not allowed to attend the service. 45-year-old Mark Kerrigan was last seen sobbing in a courtroom. He is now behind bars after pleading not guilty to assault for allegedly attacking his own father in his Massachusetts home. It happened early Sunday morning. Police rushed to the Kerrigan home and found 70-year-old Daniel Kerrigan on the floor. The police report says there was an argument over a phone call. Mark struggled with his father and put his hands around his father's neck, and his father fell to the floor. So what went wrong for this family, a family that to many seemed so right? The Kerrigans were a very tight-knit family. Anytime I saw Nancy Kerrigan uh, at a skating event, uh, Dan and Brenda would be right behind. Uh, you know, they, they were always there. Mark's attorney says he suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder from his time in the military. His former wife suggests she saw anger inside, even jealousy over the success of his sister. I, I would think anybody, any brother or sister would be jealous, not just necessarily Mark, but yeah, I, I, he was. He, he had a lot of jealousy in him. Um, and it, to me, he always seemed like he wanted to prove something to his father. There's a natural tendency, really, in any family in figure skating that the other siblings are kind of, I don't want to say forgotten, but they're, they're certainly uh, cast in the shadows as that spotlight shines so directly on that one person. In the world of figure skating, Daniel Kerrigan was well-known and well-loved. Nancy's friend and Olympic silver medalist, Paul Wiley. Dan was a great dad, and um, he was fatherly towards everyone. I think I've said that you know he would comment on that my... Um, tires were low, <laughs> the, the air pressure was low in my tires, or that I needed to fix something in my house. He would always be looking after people. A welder who worked three jobs at a time to help pay for Nancy's training. Dan Kerrigan was a hockey dad uh, caught in amidst the sequence of figure skating. Dan! <laughs> Perhaps an unlikely presence, but a deeply committed one. Much money. <laughs> yeah, I've right. been broke all my life. I'll be broke the rest of my life. It doesn't matter. He scraped together money to travel across the country to watch Nancy skate. At his side, his wife Brenda, legally blind, there to witness, if not see, the glory. I come out of the seat a few times. <laughs> and Daniel Kerrigan played a key role just after one of the most infamous moments in sports history. That attack before the 1994 Winter Olympics. Nancy Kerrigan's right leg smashed by assailants connected to one of her chief competitors, Tanya Harding. Who's the one who picks her up and carries her away uh, to get some medical attention, but her dad. Kerrigan fought her way back to win the silver in the 94 Olympics. Last year on Good Morning America, she credited her parents for the strength to recover. The, the influence my parents have on me to be able to, you know, I guess deal with, with such a thing. If Dan's life is being remembered with praise, now Mark's is being investigated for problems. He was released from prison this past November, serving two years for punching his former wife and threatening her with a knife. He threw me in the bedroom and he choked me. I literally closed my eyes and just looked up and said to myself, I love you guys, meaning my kids, because I thought I was going to die. While he was in prison, his parents sued him for more than $100,000 for money they say they used to pay his mortgage. That case was thrown out, and his parents took him back in. He'd been living in their basement since November.
When they reached the scene last Sunday, police say they found blood, smashed photos, and Mark. He appeared to be intoxicated and had the odor of an alcoholic beverage on his breath. He's been under psychiatric evaluation all week. Daniel Kerrigan was pronounced dead at the hospital. His wife called it a heart attack. Prosecutors are awaiting an autopsy to determine exactly what role the altercation played in his death. Mark Kerrigan could be in a lot of trouble. Wendy Murphy is a law professor in Boston. A lot of people are thinking, well, just because Mark Kerrigan irritated and aggravated his father that might have caused the heart attack uh, doesn't mean he should be charged with homicide. But here's what a lot of people don't understand. It doesn't have to be the only cause of death. All that prosecutors have to show is that what Mark Kerrigan did was a cause of death. It doesn't have to be the only cause. In the meantime, once again, through no fault of her own, the spotlight shines on Nancy Kerrigan. 16 years later, another tragic moment. I'm John Berman for Nightline in New York. And we convey our condolences to the Kerrigan family and our thanks to John Berman.